let's dream about the beach so in today's video we will be doing this awesome little makeup look and of course it is inspired by the beach and by my swimsuit this one right here and if ever you want to know how i created this makeup look step by step then continue watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every single time that i post a video so let's get into this makeup tutorial right away summer is coming omg it's already super super hot outside and i'm really excited to do a little makeup look which again it's going to be more in the blue tones golden tones it's gonna be very nice and of course i'm gonna go with the 35h hotspot palette today i think it's like a nice palette there's like ocean names and stuff so that's why i want to go in it and i'm just gonna be putting some primers first as usual and of course i did my base off camera because i think it's very quick to do it off camera i'm talking kind of low just because some people are sleeping and it's really late early in the morning so let's go in it right away so we will start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, mini eye primer and we will put it on our eyes of course to make sure that we have a good base for the eyeshadow I go in it straight away and I put too much last time so I'm just gonna put less I think I put less, hopefully I put less. Gonna have to blend it properly if ever and tap it. It's just gonna take a little bit more time but um, we'll make sure that our base is really beautiful and blended to have a nice blank canvas for the eyeshadow look. And it's not blending properly so I use my buffer brush that I use also for my concealer and I just buff everything so there's no line and it looks very nice. So today I was thinking I didn't want to put any tape because I don't want something like a liner. I want something rounded like the waves. Um, I think it's kind of my inspiration and this is like a little top. It's like a bathing suit <laughs> and I thought I could take some inspiration from this bathing suit. Of course, I'm not going to be putting any flowers or anything. We're just going to go straight into the palette. And like I said, we will take the 35H Hotspot palette, which I'm really sorry. It's kind of a little dirty, um, but it looks very nice. And of course, for this look, we will go into the blue areas of this palette. And we will start, first of all, with a dark shade, which is important to layer the base. Um, I really want the base to be wet. And then I want to create the shape that I want with a dark shade shade and then we can add other shades and of course we will cut the crease and do everything later on but first we need to create the shape that we want with a dark shade we're gonna go into the shade wave maker this shade is like a deep navy blue and then we will create a nice little round shape on my eyes and you want to make sure that the base is blended as well so there's no residue and no creases and the first thing that you want to do is pack you want to open your eye and to see where it goes so you can have a nice clean base. Continue with your eyes open so you can have a nice round shape that when you have like your eyes open it can still be really nice and symmetrical. Then when you're finished with the shape you want to pack the shade on where you have it and of course you can always either pack it on or you can just blend it right away and then you can add the coverage so the shade is not too hard to blend afterwards. Stretch my eye to do this because the shape is already done. Just like that and then after that we do the same on the other side. Then after packing those shades on the lid, what we'll do is we'll take the same brush, clean it on the hand a little bit and then we will just take it and blend very very carefully on the sides. So we just stretch the eye a little bit and then we just, we just blend left and right or up and down depending where you are blending but we want something very sharp and we don't want something too high because we will pl place other shades for that you can take like another brush like a pencil brush or you can take like a little tiny brush like this and then just go very softly on the side it can be like more precise than just a packer brush but you just want to be careful where you blend the product. Like right now, I br I bring it a little bit high too much. 
but if you stay within the blue color it's gonna be easy to blend that's blended very nicely and then we'll do the other side and then we'll pass to the next shade so now we will go into the shade ocean drive and pack it uh, on top of the shade that we just placed and it's a little bit of a turquoise kind of shade and it looks very nice and i want something kind of bright so those two colors will fit well together we're gonna start the packing on the blending that we already did and bring it a, li a little bit upwards so it can blend properly later on you can take the brush this one that you use to blend or you can use the packer brush um, if you want so we'll try both things because afterwards it might be harder to blend if you don't blend it right away and you add the shade back and forth and you make sure to blend right away so it's a nice blending and then if you're not satisfied with the pigmentation of the darker shade which is wave maker we can put it back and then you blend both shades together so you have to go back and forth if you want to have a seamless blend before i cut the crease of course what i want to do is i want to put something under the brow bone and here in the inner corner to really make everything blend out with a shimmer shade but there's one thing that I want to say first is my eyebrows are not the extreme perfect that I would want it to just because I ran out of brow product again. Like, <laughs> um, I use, ooh, I use the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil and it's pretty good. It's just when you use it a lot, it goes down very quickly just because it's not as pigmented. So tell me down below which brow product you recommend me. Should I go with Anastasia Beverly Hills? Should I go towards more of a pomade? Maybe I should buy a pomade, a pencil and like a gel just so I can try everything. We'll go straight into another shade to continue the makeup look. And the shade is called Ripple Effect. So it is kind of a white shimmery shade with some blue pearls in it, which looks absolutely stunning. And I take another Morphe brush that is clean and I just apply the product right where the brow is and I go around just to highlight everything and to make the eye bigger. I really like that there's like a golden tone to it because we will go into the, um, golden shades right after when we cut the crease and everything. I want to do something kind of different than usual. I want to put some golden tones in the inner corner so something really bright and gold and then go towards the lighter shades. So it's going to do something like from the dark to the light because usually we go from light to dark. So mm, We'll see how it goes. We will cut the crease and we will go back with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Eye Primer and then we will cut it into a wave kind of shade. So it's going to be a little bit different than usual. Usually I do like round and or I do like a type of liner but now I want to do something that goes back and that the shade like is still there, you can still see it. So I think it's gonna be nice changing a little bit the technique sometimes can be fun and different. And I wanna offer you different content as well. So that's why I'm gonna go straight up into it with the primer and then with the brush and be super, super precise. We will take the same shade that we put at the brow bone. So it's called Ripple Effect and I will be putting it at the outer corner of the cut crease. And I'm taking the same brush because it's easier to apply and I just pack it on top. And we put it in the outer corner and we bring it inside like the same shape as this. So that looks nice and I'm going to do the same on the other side now. Then we're going to go into another shade which is called Pool Floaty which is another blue shimmer shade and it looks really pretty. It's that same turquoise shade but into a shimmer shade. And then we apply it into the round motion that we already did. And we just put a little bit to create like an ombre effect. All right, and then we will take the gold shade and put it in the inner corner and bring it outwards. It's going to be so amazing. The shade is called Papi. And it is that straight up gold shade that looks so pretty. It's going to give a pop of color in the inner corner. And then we're going to bring that gold shade right under here. And then after that, we'll put a darker shade in the outer corner of the eye. And then we will take the shade Ocean Wave, which is that bright blue shade. And we will put it, continue the line right under here. So they are connected. And then you blend the gold and the blue together. I bring the gold into the blue because I don't want the blue to disappear. And then if you don't like that it's like that, you can always take the shimmer shade that we put on top of the brow and you bring it under so everything is unified. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take back my little brush and taking a little bit of the shimmer shade 
tapping off the excess and then we'll just go on it very slightly then now everything looks very smooth which is one thing that you want to do when you do with the under eye you want to blend everything out properly and you know what's funny is that under the eye the shade looks completely different than on top of the brow it's because of the concealer um it's gonna change the color so the color looks a little bit more greenish under my eye and then it looks a more blue on um the top of my brow which i don't really mind because it adds different tones to my look and i think it's pretty nice it's cute and i'm making weird faces again <laughs> it looks like a duck oh my god like you know on the side you like eh, eh. <laughs> so this eye look is almost finished so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some white liner in my waterline and we will place some mascara as well so we are near the end of this eye look for the summer so i will take the nyx professional slide on glide on white eyeliner la 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 because there's a big big name to it and it's in the color white and it's gonna really open up my eye and make everything brighter for the eye look all right so i didn't bring in all the way into the waterline so all the way in there because i really want to concentrate it there and to make my eyes rounder so that's why i did like this shape with the eyeshadow and i think it looks pretty good so now of course we're gonna go with the mascara and since i always apply some false lashes i think i'm gonna go with the milk makeup kush mascara because it's very natural and it's just to really remove the eyeshadow that i have on my eyes the more i talk and the more i spend time in this room which is super hot i'm literally sweating and when i'm doing my cut crease or applying mascara or i have to concentrate it's like i have these bursting of like sweat and i'm like this is hot and i'm just thinking about it and i'm just like oh my god it's gonna get hot oh my god i'm gonna mess up oh my god i'm gonna put mascara everywhere i'm gonna my cut crease is gonna mess up and the eyeshadow is gonna be not be in the right place and i just get hotter and hotter and hotter so it's like a vicious cycle of getting hot and sweaty and <laughs> But um, hopefully it's gonna go away because this is, this is crazy. But I love I love the heat. I'm so thankful for the summer. It's just I don't have AC, so it's like it's either too cold or it's either too hot. I'm gonna apply a little bit more blush, and it's the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush. It's like it disappeared, so I'm just putting a little bit back up. Then I'm gonna apply some highlights. So I want to apply two highlight highlights that will really complement the eye look that I already have. So I'm gonna go into the Moon Child palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I will go into the shade Blue Ice, which has some blue undertones, and it's gonna go with the shade that we put right under the brow bone around the eye area into the shade Blue Ice, and then we put it on the highest point of the face. And I find it funny because this one has like some purple undertones too to it. So it's kind of weird that it's blue, but it kind of looks purple. Now I will go into the Jaclyn Hill highlighter just a little bit to have something more on the whiter side. And that has some yellows in it so it can really fit with the look. Because right now this looks more purple than anything else. So that looks nice. And to really unify it with the yellow shade, I'm going to go into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Caramel Kiss highlighter. I'm putting this on top just because... I want the pearls to shine through and to fit with the gold tones that I have. It gives like a white, wet effect, which is what I'm after. I'm gonna go into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Anna Nicole Orange shade, which is very pretty. And look at the contrast of these two. Right, so that shade is applied and oh god, this is bright this is bright and i think i'm gonna be putting back a little bit of the highlighter caramel kiss but on my finger and on here when you look up close you see some shimmers some glitters inside and i was thinking of putting lip gloss too but we'll put that after i put my lashes because if i put this and i just smudge everywhere you imagine like i just oh no and like everything just smudges and my makeup look is ruined i will be applying my lashes and today i'm gonna be applying the ferrara beauty lashes because they are nice and they're not too big either all right for the final touches i'm gonna be applying a little bit of the morphe setting spray on my face even though i'm already sweaty enough i don't need more moisture 
we will apply this lip gloss which is in the shade cheeky and it has some nice orange tones pink tones gold glitter glitters and it's gonna really go with the look which these two shades are oddly similar tell me what you think about the makeup look down below because this is the final resort of the makeup look so with my swimsuit which looks like this which i brought it up a little bit because i wanted you to see it it's not as high <laughs> usually but um this is cute and this makeup look was inspired by my swimsuit because of summer and it's coming and i'm so excited to be <sighs> enjoying the sun and the hotness outside so this is the final result so thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment down below subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more of those awesome videos so i post five videos a week monday through friday and if you don't want to miss any video again subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every single time that i post even when i post a lies occasionally on the weekend so i really love you beauties and i will see you in the next one bye beauties